Hi there, welcome to my video on how to customize your course welcome email. In this video, I'm going to quickly uh, show you how you can uh, customize the course welcome email so that uh, the notifications that go out to enrolled users are specific to sort of your brand, your messaging, and your style of communication. Um, just a quick caveat to sort of let you know that course welcome emails are only sent to users who sign up uh, for your course, um, users who are manually enrolled in your course. So the idea is basically if they pay for a course, uh, then they will get a course welcome email. But if they're only previewing the course, then uh, there is no email sent to them at all. Uh, this is important to know so that when you're setting up your email automations, uh, you can uh, make sure that anyone who is in a free preview is automatically uh, enrolled into an email marketing sequence so that you can stay in touch and find out how you can convert those free preview users into paid customers. Uh, but let's get started. Um, first of all, you'll want to log into your Thinkific account. I'm logged into my partner demo account. And then the first thing I want to look for to uh, send and customize these emails is go to the support your students tab. And you see here there's student notifications and there's admin notifications. We're only going to be concerned with student notifications for the purposes of this video. And there's kind of a couple options from settings, course welcome email, course completion email, and bundle welcome email. We're only going to focus on course welcome email because this is sort of like the first line of communication that your students and your customers receive after they sign up and uh, purchase a course or purchase a bundle. So uh, right now you can see like uh, all the emails are disabled. Um, because uh, I don't want to have too many notifications for all the different demos that I make. But if you want to enable them, you can click enable. If you want to disable, you can disable. And you can just click here, toggle the button on if you want to um, enable uh, the emails for any specific course or courses. So as you see, I have this launch your online course in six weeks. And that has been enabled. And so now let's customize that email. I'm gonna click on edit. And then so as you see, there's all this kind of like information and you know variables. So this is kind of a generic um, template for your welcome email. And the kind of cool thing that you can do with this welcome email is not only can you uh, send this to your students, but you can also CC just to sort of test out how it looks. So let's just say you'd like to test this out and make sure that it looks okay every time they go out. You can copy like your site owner, um, which is uh, in here, or you can add other emails like Gene. Um, so the idea is you can copy multiple people on your team who are in charge of just kind of proofreading and testing everything out. And then right now the email subject says you are now enrolled in uh, course name. So uh, this, anytime you see these brackets, uh, those are variables, those are fixed. Um, the idea is that those are fields that are automatically populated from your Thinkific account. So that every time you customize the email, you're focused really just on this text in the front. And this is just auto-populated so that the email will say you are now enrolled in Launch Your Online Course in six weeks. So let's just say, um, Instead of saying you're now enrolled in, uh, welcome to the course. Uh, and this welcome to launch your online course. Um, uh, we are so excited to have you here. But the idea is the subject is uh, customizable and just sort of tailor it to your audience, tailor it to your brand, tailor it to your style of messaging so that it sounds authentic and it sounds very genuine. Instead of like I can, I mean, these are all automated emails, but you know, people want to feel like when they're reading an email that it's directly coming from you and it feels very personal. So now we can go down to the uh, rest of the email. So uh, the way it is, is that you'll see that this is kind of customized 
as a template here is very simple, but if you want, you can add graphics here. So you can add your own banner. You can, so by clicking insert image, you can select a banner. Um, you can add different links um, to different upsells. You know, I recommend that after a welcome email, but um, that's just to sort of give you an idea of how this um, template editor works. So right now, this is set up where the site name is your uh, site name. So mine's is Learn the Machine. So it would uh, show up here. And you can definitely change that if you want. Um, I think it is nice in terms of a branding perspective to um, have that kind of look and unique uh, consistency and um, unique branding that's set up in your email. Uh, next here, it will ask uh, if you want to, uh, you know, this is all customizable. Remember, anything in the first name uh, is automatically populated from anyone who provides an uh, email and first name when they sign up. Now, if you want to say, you want to add first name, comma, uh, last name, what you can do is then later on copy the um, last name field here. So I would copy um, and then... Um, Add this and then uh, make a subtle change by adding a semicolon. And uh, this sort of now looks really uh, different in, this, in the sense that it's not just a congratulations, Gene, it's a congratulations, Gene Pack, for signing up for this course. And so right now it just says, Congratulations, you have completed. Uh, this course, but I'm going to focus on this is a course welcome email. So I want to say um, we are excited to have you in the blank course. Um, the journey is long and tough, but very rewarding. So then you can add some more thoughts and sort of messages and sort of inspirational quotes to sort of set the tone for uh, welcoming your students into the course. And then at the end, they'll say sincerely, um, full name, uh, your instructor's uh, full name in the course. Now, if you want to sort of take this to the next level and sort of add a little bit more enhancements, then I would suggest uh, some of the additional variables that Thinkific provides that you can add is a course link so that you can add a link to um, course link so I can then say, as a reminder, so that students know how they sign up, um, as a reminder, this uh, link uh, will um, allow you to log in. I didn't spell it right, but, and then I would copy, paste the variable. And so then uh, once I say this link, then they know to click on this link and it'll take them to the login. I can also uh, enhance the course welcome email by adding um, a link to a review. Uh, this is really cool because and this is really key so that when your students complete the course, uh, they'll know that that link in the link is available in that welcome email. So all they have to do is go back to that link and review your course and then say, um, PS, um, feel free to go to this link. Uh, to review the course when you're done. And so I would also then fix this so that it looks um, consistent in terms of color and um, font. Uh, it's important when you're uh, creating these emails that it looks um, unique, um, but also consistent and that it uh, matches your brand. So I hope that helps. Uh, this is a quick uh, just overview on how you can customize and tailor your welcome email uh, to your students. Thanks for watching and give this video a like, subscribe, and let me know what questions you have.